couples who have a NSW how we met story how did you meet? Was out for my birthday one night. Obviously I wanted to get my end away so I went to find a co-worker who I knew I could get it done with. Had done a few times before. Instead, she introduced me to her friend who almost immediately rammed her tongue down my throat. Not long after that she dragged me to the girl's toilet, sucked me off. Then I bent Jer over the toilet before being kicked out of the club. I walked her home because I'm a gentleman then banged her in the back of her car. 9. 1 stroke 2 years later we're engaged and have a 2 year old son. Also, she freaking hates that story. Walked her to home because I'm a gentleman banged her in the back of the car. 5 stars for that line buddy. I actually met my husband at work, but I had recently dated and broke up with a guy I had been crushing on for years. I decided I was going to have a fling. A one night stand. My boss introduced the new guy to me and said Mel 2 MDL will show you everything heck yes, I will. After all, he had a cute butt. He just never went home. We dated for almost 3 years, have been married for 24. Have a 21 year old child too. Still love him and he still has a cute butt. My first and only attempt at a one night stand. Failed miserably. I mean, the outcome is great and all, but that's literally the worst possible outcome of a one night stand. She called me to let me know my, now ex, wife was fricking her boyfriend. We started dating a few months later, now together over 8 years. Does that count? Sounds like both of you upgraded. We had been friends for 7 years, never talked about dating. We go to a bar one day, have a few, and I send my brother a selfie saying hey, remember her he responded with bang her. I try to hide the text but she says no no what does it say I show her the text and she shrugs why not. That woman is my wife now. Your brother is a G. I was dragged out of the house by my buddy to meet up with some girl he liked and her friends. I really didn't want to go but he kept telling me that it was going to be awkward if he was the only guy there in a group of girls. I went along, we got to the bar, I introduced myself to the group of girls but one of them didn't stay anything or stand up, she just sat there on this swing. It was an outdoor bar with bench swings, so I immediately thought, that girl's a bee. I end up drinking alone and drunkenly stumbling around the bar until I end up back at that swing. Lo and behold, this girl is still sitting there, this time alone. I decide to go see why she has a stick up her butt and plop down next to her on the swing. I then lean over and say hi, my name is RMW156. We didn't get to meet earlier in a sarcastic tone. She looks over and mouths something to me. I yell, what to which she mouths the same thing again. So drunk me yells, we are in a bar, you have to talk louder. Then the music cuts out for a second. She leans in and says, I can't talk very loud. I had surgery on my throat for my cancer and the only thing I could think to say back was, Oh, I thought you were just being a B. Do you want a drink? Later that night I asked for her number in a Taco Bell. She gave me the wrong number. I ended up seeing her out again a couple weeks later, sober, and slowly started to win her over. Five years later we are married. TL. DR. I told a cancer survivor that I thought she was a B. We got married. My fiancé and I met working for a large manufacturer of sex toys. I was running the email marketing and she was hired as a copywriter. I guess at the time it was SFW but talking about it anywhere else seems to be NSW. A 4chan. I didn't set out to meet her so or even really a hookup but it happened and we have been together for 2 plus years. The same. On B of all places. Found her on one of those draw yourself. Post your interests things. She put up her AIM handle. We have been together for 5 plus years now. Bought my first house. I figured I would be single forever. Decided to throw my own house warming party. Friend of a friend invited a good looking lady and introduced us. Fast forward to a few too many drinks. A few flirts. Some conversation. And I got lucky. Started with a BJ in the bathroom then to the bedroom to finish. Partied for a while and I suggested she better just spend the night. Been happily married for 12 years and have two kids. Dude, you underestimated how sexy your own house is. Went down to the beach on the 4th of July for some heavy drinking and whittle ball. A cute blonde girl walked up to me and said you look like Lieutenant Dan. 
with legs and then wandered off. A mutual friend of ours walked up and told me it was her first time doing mushrooms. I decided to take some mushrooms and tracked her down a little later. Best decision I ever made. We've been together for 9 years now. My now wife and I met 7 years ago on a cupid. That part we tell people. The part we generally leave out, at least with family and co-workers, is that our oh so romantic first date was just a frick meetup arranged after less than 10 messages to each other, nothing more and nothing less. I went to her apartment, we were making out 5 minutes later, I saw her tea for the first time 5 minutes after that, and we had fricked for the first time 10 minutes after that, we didn't even exchange last names. After several more similar meetups, we went on our first date to a restaurant a couple of weeks later and actually had a conversation about our lives and jobs and thoughts and stuff. Then I started hanging around her apartment more and more after, walking her dog sometimes. We started watching a couple TV shows together. We started going to more dinner movie dates together. About maybe 5 weeks after first meeting she asked me straight up if we were now boyfriend and girlfriend and I was like yep, yeah, I guess so. Then came the first I love us and meeting her parents and being there for rest other in times of stress and need and moving in together and getting a new place together and sharing finances and getting a cat together and getting married and building a life, etc etc. And now we're just a happy but standard boring suburban couple who no one would ever assume anything kinky about. But yep, the span of time where I had met my wife but not yet seen her boobs was about 500-600 seconds. My parents copied from another thread. My parents lied to me for years. They told me they met while they were in college. As it turns out, my father was in the Navy, stationed on the west coast. My mother lived in Washington DC. My father was casually banging my mom's roommate. Dad comes back to see family in CT. Takes a ride down to DC to see his lady friend. As it turns out, lady friend found someone else, and passed my dad off to my mom. Dad gets there, everyone is in a jolly mood, they start partying. It doesn't end for 2 weeks. They claim it was the 70s, we were just having a good time. 10 days into this party, my mom ended up passing out on a commuter train when she finally had to go back to work. Dad came to pick her up. They went back to the party. Eventually my father goes back to the west coast. My mom comes to visit a few months later. He proposes as my mom gets off the plane. Now I know what you're thinking. OP, you came along a few months later. Nope. Three years later. They'll be celebrating 38 years together next April. Either the 70s were a lot more fun than now. Or I'm going to the wrong parties. I met my now wife at a party at someone's house in the country where there were several hundred people in attendance, two months before graduation. There were kegs aplenty. My best friend was in the band, and he took my request when I saw someone I wanted to dance with. We took things outside and walked into an unfenced field, both pretty drunk. We slipped on a grassy hillside and fell down together. Pants came off in no time. She had a very unusual last name and I spent half the remaining night in a drunken haze trying to remember what it was, and the other half trying to find it in a phone book. Oh, BTW, the graduation was high school graduation. She was my high school sweetheart. That was almost 43 years ago. Comma that was almost 43 years ago. Comma trying to find it in a phone book. Yeah, that gave it away. Congrats on 43 years buddy. Met at a party, made out so that some other creepy guy would stop talking to her, exchanged numbers, met for drinks a couple days later, went back to her place. Not only did I get laid that night but I stayed over and we fricked most of the next day. We clicked instantly but spent a couple weeks keeping it casual because each of us didn't want to freak out the other person by jumping into things too quickly. We've been together 7 years all told, married for the last 2. Plot twist. She paid the creepy guy to appear creepy. Started dating a stripper I met at the club. It's been like 3 plus years now. It's amusing to watch us squirm when people ask us how we met. We really hit it off when she was serving me at her work. This girl I had met texted me asking if I wanted to come swimming. A bunch of our friends were there, but afterwards only me and my friend and two girls wanted to stay out and drink. We all went back to my friend's house and somehow it came up that the girls would kiss if me and my friend did. 
I gave my buddy a peck on the cheek and the two girls made out. The two girls told us they would match whatever we did. At which point, my friend's stoned roommate came wandering into the kitchen and hollered you two should touch dongs so they have to scissor. So naturally we slapped dongs and the girls were immediately out if their element. They asked if they could just fool around topless instead so we agreed. After a few minutes of them fooling around, I grabbed one of the girl's clothes and took off out the front door. She chased me and when she went for the clothes I kissed her. We made out and ended up going back inside and having sex on the couch. 5 years later and we're married and she's pregnant. So naturally we slapped dongs. Amazing. We tell people that as soon as we laid eyes on each other, we went looking for a bed together. The truth is I worked at an outdoor ed camp. She came as a chaperone for her niece's 6th grade class. And their cabin was short a bed so we had to go find her extra one. But, married 25 years now. Recently single and tow as heck. I went to a brothel for a bit of company, picked a lady and paid for a few hours of her service. During we exchanged numbers and went on a date afterwards. Now we've been dating 3 years, live together and have a baby. She left her old job about 6 months after we started dating. The story we use is met at a club. My lady and I had the same group of friends, but her and I barely knew each other. One night her friend and us got drunk and her friend suggested that if I were to go get her cigarettes and get condoms we could all bang. I asked if she was down and got a nod. Probably the fastest I have ever walked to a gas station in my life. I got back and they held up their end of the bargain until a roommate yelled that we were being too loud and we had to stop. The girl who is now my girlfriend asked if we should go finish up at her place. The friend who originally had the idea said she was going to pass out. I said I was game. Went back to her house and banged for the rest of the weekend. Now we've been together for about 2 years and happily living together for about a year. We're planning on moving out of state together and kinda settling down if we're still happy and doing well here for another year or so. I have a gay friend who met his so in Miami. He was on the second floor balcony, naked, watching for guys. He caught the attention of a guy waiting for the bus. He was invited up and they sexed. The next morning he had to drive him home since he missed his bus. They tell family the met at the grocery store. Standing on a second floor balcony naked and just staring at everyone is a pretty bold strategy and I'm astounded it paid off. Met my boyfriend at the strip club I was working at. It was his birthday and his buddy paid for him to go to the champagne room with me. I didn't really do extras, but after talking for like 3 hours I decided I really liked him. Sucked his dong then and there, and we're still together 4 years later. Hundreds of idiot guys brains just exploded. I knew it could happen. That stripper really was into me. Met on OkCupid. Okay Neither of us were looking for anything serious, but he had a lot of experience with BDSM and I was very interested in trying it. He offered to be my guide into the world of kink, and be kinky friends with benefits. So I'm all tied up and we're having sex, but with usual first time together awkwardness he kept slipping out having trouble finding the hole. I thought it was funny but he started crying. Turns out he'd been abused a lot as a kid and as a teenager and women would hurt him if he failed to perform adequately. I guess I was the first person to really listen and comfort him after something like that. That night he cried in my arms for a few hours, told me a lot about the abuse, and then we ended up having non-kinky, quite sweet sex. We've been together since that night, for more than a year now. We became close pretty much instantly, and he definitely has been an excellent teacher in the world of BDSM. A surprising story of emotional growth that I didn't expect at all from this discussion. A kudos to your happiness. We met at a BDSM fetish club. We were briefly introduced and within 5 minutes he had me blindfolded, said nasty things to me, and hit and pinched me until I cried. A lot. We've been blissfully married for 15 years now. This one made me laugh the most. My wife and I worked at the same company but different departments. A softball teammate of mine actually reported to her and she was new to our city. I met my teammate and her downtown during Saint. 
Patrick's Day, I introduced myself and she asks me an icebreaker would you rather have stilts for legs or no legs at all the only answer is stilts for legs, but then went out through the crowd, I get a text message from a random number hey butthole, where's my drink well I replied with who the frick is this and met the random number at the indoor bar I was at, it was her, she's drinking straight Jameson with ice, in a pint glass. After a few of those in the generic getting to know you question so goes frick I could get into trouble at work. I was confused and she goes you're just too cute. During our conversation when she found out I went to college for architecture, she throws out her pickup line. My apartment has really cool architecture you should come check it out minutes later she spills her entire drink on my and starts licking my ear. We go to her apartment where a few of her co-workers are staying for the night. We begin making out in the bathroom and eventually her subordinates got weirded out when we moved to the stairs and left the apartment. I bend her over the bed. She asks me if I have a condom. Frick I don't and I'm about to get denied. I reluctantly say number. That's okay. Just put it in my butt. That was 2012. We have an almost 1 year old son and have been married for 3 years. She's my best friend and the most down to earth woman I've ever known. Met her at the bar. She gave me head in the parking lot that same night. We've been together almost 6 years, and we're getting married in April. This just happened to me last Wednesday for the first time, never hooked up with a girl the night of meeting at a bar, waiting for her right now to get dinner. Wish me luck. Was sitting in a bar at last call getting ready to leave. Barmaid says, don't leave yet. I have some acid and I love to frick when I trip. Together for 25 years. She passed on last year and I miss her so much. Dude, 3 sentences and you managed to put me on an emotional roller coaster. I was working as a waitress. For a while I was in an incredibly abusive messed up relationship. And one of the other waitresses, a good friend, would often discuss it with me. Another common worker had overheard some things, and she had misinterpreted it. She thought I was a giant ass who had no problem letting anyone do anything to me. Long story short, she set me up on a blind date with a friend of hers, who just happened to be an awkward 20 something year old virgin. She assumed I'd take his v-card on the first date, I didn't, and then we'd never see each other again. We've now been together for 7 very happy years. So, it doesn't really count since we're long since split, but it's a fun story. A few years back, a friend of mine asked me for help designing something. When I asked for details, it turned out that she wanted to try her hand, and the rest of her, at webcam modeling, and wanted my help designing her profile and whatnot. Wasn't too difficult, basic HTML and I helped photoshop some things, but after doing that I tried talking to new models to offer assistance, not the most lucrative side work, but it meant lots of boobs. One such model declined, but was nice to chat with and was really attractive, and after talking for a while we realized we were living within about an hour's drive, and started dating for a while. We broke up a while later, after realizing that we disagreed on some pretty key issues. But we dated long enough that friends and family were introduced. We just said that we met online without offering further details. My time to shine. The first night I met my wife we hiked for hours on the hills surrounding our hometown. We explored a deep cave without a flashlight. As the sun was rising we took off all our clothes and ran through the tall grass as the mist rose above the field and the dew stuck to our bodies. Fell asleep next to each other naked. That was 22 years ago. Running naked through tall grass just makes me think omg ticks. At a club me and guy friend were at, he brings a girl straight back to my place. She immediately starts sucking his dong. I join them and we frick the brakes off this girl. She cannot find something so I get contact information and we stay in touch and bam here we are today. We tell people we met at the bar between a mutual friend. Which is true. But what really happened is we all had a threesome after we all left the bar. He came back to the bar the next night looking for me. We've been together ever since, over two years ago. I met my current girlfriend during university. We were in the same social group and she seemed nice enough. Very attractive but probably the kind of girl that was way out of my league. Then one day I went to a massage parlor where they put you in a waiting room and lined the girls up in front of you. You can probably guess who was in the lineup. I still remember it very clearly. 
standing there among the other girls clad in only a skimpy bikini and heels, blushing furiously because we clearly recognized each other. Unfortunately at the time I was so surprised that I ended up picking somebody else. It was super awkward meeting up in the social circle after that, until I went back to the polar and picked her the second time around. And now we've been together for around 10 years. Her and a friend had a bet who could hook up with me first. My buddy tipped me off to the bet so I pulled kind of a dong move and used it to my advantage. Hooked up with both of them that night without them knowing. Married the second one. I had a sex blog where I posted stories about rough freaking and BDSM. She was a reader who used to regularly leave comments. We started swapping emails until she invited me to visit for a weekend. Then things got real. Bumped into a course mate at a house party. She was incredibly high on ketamine and asked me to look after her. We ended up both taking enough ket to sedate a rhinoceros and having the best sex either of us have ever had. It's been smooth sailing since then. All these are like ok cupid or fricked a craigslist w i did mine the old fashioned way. I fricked my best friend's mom. Married 6.5 years now. It was a halloween party at our catholic university. She was dressed as a s catholic school girl. I went as a sexual predator priest. We hit it off right away. I was drunk my friend texted me that she went on a helicopter ride. I sent a video of me helicoptering my dong and told her she could ride this helicopter anytime. We've been dating for almost 6 months now. I used to transfer P to my iPod to fap and delete videos as soon as I am done. A girl classmate I like a lot and never had the guts to ask her out once casually asked me to give my iPod while we were waiting at a bus stop. She opened videos and immediately returned it back looking at me in disgust to my surprise. The video menu still showed the thumbnail of pvid from the day before. Cash probably. Fast forward 6 years. She is now my girlfriend and we will get married soon. This is the second time I am writing this story of reddit. There are some parts missing here. Not my partner, but was directly involved in two people's rad love story. Me and my friend are pretty close and tend to hook up every now and then. We went out to a bar one night and we were totally drunk out of our minds. He kept talking about how he wanted to bring another guy home with us that night. Since I'm female I took the reins and let my friend sit back while I flirted with people. I ended up chatting up this one super cute guy, but it later became apparent that the dude I was chatting up was super into another girl at the bar. He ended up taking off. While my friend and I were outside we joked about how hilarious it would be if we took the girl home instead. We went inside and she immediately started flirting with me and telling me I had pretty eyes. We took her home that night and all banged till the sun came up. Throughout the night we had this holy crap did this just happen talk every time she left the room. They ended up hanging out the following day and have been inseparable ever since. We still laugh about and high five about it. It seemed very unreal in the moment and is a super great bar story. I'm really hoping they get married one day, because I have the go ahead to tell the story during my toast. Wine is 666 because I have the go ahead to tell the story during my toast. You really are the devil. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. for now.